हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन आई एम हेयर विथ यू विद द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज एयर ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर एयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी कंपोजिशन ऑफ द एयर एज यू नो दैट एयर इज प्रजेंट ऑल अराउंड अस एंड वी कैन नॉट सी द एयर बट वी कैन फील फील ओनली ओके एंड pure air is colorless odorless and tasteless okay and we feel air only when it blows so this is about the air now come to the composition of the air you will see that air is an invisible mixture of gases okay and it is made up of made up mainly of nitrogen nearly how much 78% and oxygen nearly 21% it also contains water vapor and a small amount 1% of other gases and these other gases include carbon dioxide ozone helium and hydrogen okay so you will see that nitrogen 78% oxygen 21% and in 1% other gases like carbon dioxide water vapor helium ozone hydrogen etc okay now you can see the diagram of page number 98 uh, in that diagram composition of air is given and that is very important for you everyone will draw the diagram okay now see this so you have to keep in the mind that nitrogen 70 Eight percent, okay, and uh, oxygen twenty-one percent, and one uh, percent other gases. So see this. This is very important. Nitrogen seventy-eight percent, oxygen twenty-eight percent, and uh, other gases. That is one percent other gases. okay okay now move to the next topic that is importance of the air you all know that air is very important for animals and plants okay all the animals including human beings need oxygen to live what oxygen to live and oxygen is very essential for the breathing for what breathing oxygen for the breathing okay and uh, uh, when we breathe after breathing this oxygen produce energy from the food that is eaten okay and uh, in this process carbon dioxide get uh, formed which is breathed out and this is about the breathing and this is very important for animals and uh, you will see that oxygen is very important for us and that is present in the air that is of 21 percent okay now oxygen is very essential for burning also for what for burning okay so you will see that when uh, you can uh, see the activity in the activity of page number 99 which i have already explained you that is given uh, that uh, how the oxygen is important for us so oxygen is very important for breathing okay and for burning also what for burning and you can see this uh, by the activity and uh, now see this one more thing that is also very important that is plants require air to live and grow you can see the page number 99 and uh, as human beings uh, use oxygen similarly plants use 
carbon dioxide and oxygen both but in the daytime in presence of sunlight plants use what oxygen carbon dioxide gas and give out what oxygen and that oxygen is used by again animals so you will see that animals and human beings use oxygen present in the air and give out carbon dioxide and plants on the other hand consume carbon dioxide during the photosynthesis in the daytime and they then give out oxygen in this way a balance of the carbon dioxide and oxygen is maintained in the air okay now see that you will see that animals and human being uh, use oxygen and release carbon dioxide and again this carbon dioxide is used by the plants and release what oxygen during the daytime that is called photosynthesis and in this way in the nature oxygen balance between the carbon dioxide and oxygen is maintained in the air okay and uh, what will you do you will do the diagram which is in page number 99 okay now come to the role of the nitrogen uh, the nitrogen is very important uh, for the plant uh, you see that nitrogen gas present in the air is essential for the growth of the plants okay it is very essential for the growth of the plant and nitrogen helps in the rapid growth of the plant and it also helps them to develop their fruits and seeds okay and it is also very important to increase the size of the leaves and quality of the leaves okay so plant require plants require nitrogen in large amount but uh, do you know plants can't absorb nitrogen gas directly from the air nitrogen gas do you know what happened to the nitrogen the nitrogen gas is being changed into the other forms and then utilized by the plants and see how the bacteria present in the soil help to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into the specific forms like nitrate and ammonium salt okay and these salt are taken by the plants to get the nitrogen needed by the them okay and then plant roots absorb salts from the soil okay and then plant use them to form protein which are very essential which are essential for the growth of the plants okay so today you have seen uh you, you see this in this air chapter composition of air 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen 1% other gases then importance of the air that is important for the breathing for the burning and for the plants also okay and uh, nature maintains a balance um, that means oxygen and carbon dioxide in the is uh, sorry balance between carbon dioxide and oxygen is maintained in the atmosphere uh, by the plants and the animals okay and the role of nitrogen nitrogen is very important this is essential for the growth of the plants so that's all for today uh, in the next class uh, i will explain you uh, the atmosphere as sealed and pollution of the air okay so that's all for today thank you